I made a tweet a few weeks ago asking for my viewers to send in the scruggliest pictures of their cats so I can edit them into funny memes. There were quickly hundreds of responses, so thank you to everyone who submitted as I obviously won't be able to do all of them. By the way, make sure to follow my Twitter too just in case I do something similar again. The first thing I did was scroll through all the responses to find the most usable cat pictures. I wanted to make sure I only edited my viewers actual cats so we can throw out all the people sending in the silly cat or bowler right away. Now that I got a bunch of pictures ready, let's begin making them into memes. First, I started with some really simple edits, such as just adding on a caption. This little guy is very small and probably has an empty head too, so I added this caption. He doesn't know anything. Whee! This cat is very goofy looking and gives me the energy that he might not be that good of a lawyer. So I put him onto this meme. Look at my lawyer dog. I'm going to jail. Oh. <laughs> I have no clue what this thing is. So shout out to whatever the hell this is. This cat is such a perfectly good boy that I wasn't even sure if he was a real creature or not. So I put him onto this meme. Has science gone too far? Is this image real or fake? Ayo, he looks so cozy in my banky. <laughs> This cat kinda has their tongue out, so I added them onto a silly meme. I can act rather silly at times. Blee. He has a really funny looking facial expression, so I added him looking up Google on Google. For some reason, someone sent a full on corrupted image of their cat, so I deep fried it even more, then put on a fitting caption. Hell no, left my cat in the microwave for too long. Whee! The same person also sent me another picture of their cat, but this time playing Minecraft on the computer. I was inspired by this funny bunny picture, so I replaced the game with Google and added the text on. On the Goog. I just think the phrase on the Goog is really funny sounding. The final picture of their cat is just him on a microphone, so I added one word onto it. Podcast. Hell nah, they be letting anyone podcast these days. <laughs> This goofball looks kind of similar to the Wawa cat who was commonly edited to have no ears. So I took off his ears too and added a funny caption. And why he no ears though? <laughs> this cat just looks like a blank reaction face so I added him onto this meme. Live uh, reaction. Uh. This is Shibi's cat Snickers and I've made many edits of this cat before this video so I'll read out a few of them. Oh hell no! This splunky doinky boinky doogly doodle scruggly goinky loinky! Love position! Snickers is bunger! Hot Wheels twin man! I have no clue what this cat is doing, so... Oh hell no, he got the janky ass hitbox! But then, the seemingly polar opposite of the previous cat came into view. This cat exhibits such a spectacular loaf, with no visible front paws, a well-tucked in tail, and a perfect shape that resembles the golden ratio. What a simple hitbox! Also 10 out of 10 loaf. <laughs> I'm sorry, but bro looks like he's freaking 80 years old. I felt like the right choice here was to add this caption and then compress the image a bunch. The goddamn uh, the uh. This cat was looking really devious, so I edited him onto this cursed meme I found. First, I cut out the cat, then removed the screen, added a spiral image I found on Google, dropped the cutout cat in, added a stroke and color correcting, and it's done. Also, any 1984 meme caption fits on this image too, such as, do not post memes in hashtag general. This thing looks similar to this cat meme, so I stretched it, put a caption on, and then compressed it. Man, I don't know. This person's cat had a freaking Whataburger thing on him for some reason, so I knew what I needed to do. First, I cut him out, got a picture of a Whataburger restaurant, blurred it, dropped him in, and came up with a caption. Ordered from Whataburger for the first time, and this is what they give me? This cat honestly looks like he would be banned from most public spaces, so... He has 97 mental illnesses and is banned from most public spaces. I don't know what soda this cat is looking at, so I'm gonna pretend it's Mountain Dew and make this meme with it. He you want to drink the mountain dew? <laughs> Let him drink. Pour it on him. <laughs> I also made an Instagram poll version and I got 100% votes on pour it on him. I looked at this submission for a mere 0.1 seconds and what I should do to it came to me in an instant. But then I realized this just simply isn't enough. The sheer power of the eyebrow raise just can't be encapsulated by a single emoji. We needed to go further. They also sent in another picture of their cat, and for some reason, I thought it would be fitting to do this. Um, excuse me? There is some lol, 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 yeah, lol, bah, the cat. This cat has scary looking fangs out, so I color corrected it, stretched it, added a caption, then compressed it. She thinks she's scary! <laughs> this cat radiates goober energy, so I decided to just add a stupid caption on him. The good little goober! <laughs> With this cat, I decided to crop him down, add some compression, and the caption will be... Uh, never mind, I won't do a caption. 
Post this cat when they least expect it. LMAO, I got you. <laughs> For some reason, this cat looks really wise and mystical. So I decided to make the dumbest meme I could possibly make with him. And I ended up recreating the can you find image. Can you find Burp? Where is he? I don't see him. This cat is such a tiny little thing. So I decided to make another can you find style image, but this time make it actually hard to find him. I found another Where's Waldo image with a white color scheme for him to hide in. Cut him out, then made the image. Can you find me? Where is he? I actually don't see him this time. This image was really fun to make, so I decided to make two more of them with these cats. I cut on both of them, then found some images for them to hide in. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. You can pause the video if you actually want to try to find them, and if you do end up finding them, you can tweet at me with proof or something. I forgot what animal this is, so I added this caption to make it more clear. I love this anima! The Kate. I don't really know what to do with these cats, so I just turned them into low-quality reaction images. <laughs> Her? This cat picture is really cursed, so I decided to make it even more cursed and then put this caption on. In my happy place! <laughs> This cat has his legs spread out weirdly, which kind of looks like he's standing, so I remade this image with him. This is a man! Featherless, biped. This cat is such a silly girl sitting on a laptop, so I added this caption. On my mobile computer! Hey! Wait a second. This cat is not using the computer! Obviously not even looking at the screen. Computer not even opened? Her ass is not using the damn computer! With these two cats, I decided to just add them onto a cursed meme I found. Before corn syrup. Right. I hate the anti-crush, I hate the- After corn syrup. Single family zone with minimum parking requirements for car-centered housing is a good idea. This cat is kind of big, not gonna lie, so I decided to make it a bit more obvious. The big guy. The big guy. The big guy. He's big. I think this guy is big. Why is he so big, though? This dude is so big. <laughs> There's a meme format I found where you just plop this really inspirational quote onto a completely unrelated animal picture, and I thought it would be really funny if I put it on this cat because he has a funny face. So I added the caption and compressed the image. We are not born to die. Does a book begin just to finish? Does a song open with a beautiful chord purely to end? Yes, we are born with the inevitable fate of death, but that is merely the final act of the play. We are born to love, be joyous, to move, learn, cry, and feel. We are, in fact, born to live. I found this funny image online one day, so I decided to replace the characters with two random cats for the final meme. So I got these two goobers, cut the first one out, then the second one. I found the origin of the background image, but for some reason a massive balloon on top just isn't in the original photo, which really confused me. So I replaced the first character with the background, fixed the speech bubble, added the cat in, and finished the bubble. Then I got rid of the fish and added the other cat. Then it was done. Let's ride the mechanism! Splendid! And that was all the memes I decided to make for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, or support me in other ways if you want. By the way, if you want any of these memes, there will be a thread on my Twitter of every single image I made for this video. Okay, bye!